Hi, I'm Katie Akins with Arizona Farm Bureau Ag in the Classroom. And I'm Tori Summy. And this week is Earth, Earth Week. Week. And we're super excited to celebrate Earth Week, not only this week, but every week, mm -hmm. as are all of our farmers and ranchers. So today we've got a little experiment set up because we want to talk a little bit about how agriculture is being used to make things better. Yeah, and there are actually a lot of different ways that our farmers and ranchers have found to make things that are better. That's right. Our agricultural products are being taken by scientists and used to make some of the things that we use every single day, like plastic. Mm -hmm. You heard of plastic before? Plastic on your toothbrush, mm -hmm. plastic water um, bottles, plastic shopping packaging. bags. Oh my gosh, so many things, right? And the plastic that we know is actually made using petroleum oil, mm -hmm. which is not, not renewable. renewable and it's not biodegradable. Mm -mm. Meaning when it's gone, it's gone. We can't produce more and it does not break down and go back to the earth, which are all things that maybe aren't so good. Mm -hmm. So scientists were able to take an agricultural product, corn, mm -hmm. and create plastic that is now renewable because we can always grow more corn and biodegradable. biodegradable. So today we're going to make some corn plastic corn and Miss Tori is going to show you how we do it. Yes, if you want to do this at home, just make sure you have a few items with you. You're going to need some corn starch. Beautiful. We've also got some water. And this is just vegetable oil. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter the brand, just vegetable oil. Now the way that we're making this today, we're actually gonna just use a plastic baggie. So I know, I know we just talked about plastic, but we are gonna use that baggie. And then we also have just a tablespoon and a little eyedropper. So okay. first what we'll do is we're gonna take equal parts of the cornstarch and the water and put it into our baggie. So let's just do two scoops. So two tablespoons is what we're using. Mm -hmm. If you wanna make more plastic, you can go ahead and add more. So if we're using equal parts and we use two tablespoons, we that need two tablespoons of water. Exactly. Oh, this is gonna be messy. I know, it's gonna get all watery and mushy and we're gonna have fun mixing it together because the way I'm gonna mix it, I'm just gonna put it in this corner. I'm gonna mush it with my fingers. So this is- Okay, so you wanna mix it so that there's no dry powder in it. So make sure you squeeze that water around, that mm -hmm. moisture and really pop any of those powder pockets. Yeah. Make sure it's really well mixed in there with the cornstarch. Oh, we don't want it to be, be too watery. It's going to be fun. Okay, and then I'm only going to do about two drops of vegetable oil, right? That's correct. Okay, so I'm glad I have a trusty pipette. Here we go. Here we go. One, One, two. two. I did three. Okay, that's okay. There were little drops. Okay, now what do we have to do? So I'm going to mix it together some more, but once we get this all mixed together, what we're going to do is make sure the top isn't fully closed, so I'm gonna leave a little opening when I close this. For ventilation. Yeah, that way we don't pop it <laughs> in our microwave. So we're gonna leave that little bit open, and then I'm gonna actually place it on this plate, so that way if anything comes out, it's not getting all over my microwave, and then it's microwave safe. So we'll go ahead and give this to Katie. She's gonna run it over to our microwave, and we'll see her in 20 seconds because we are gonna want to give that 20 seconds in the microwave to heat up and harden and become our cornstarch plastic. In the meantime, let's learn a little bit about the other things that are renewable and that are reusable that are made from agriculture. So if you have some old jeans, they can actually be used for the insulation inside of buildings and other things that use insulation. We can also use things like soybeans to make a multitude of things, but one of those things happens to be crayons. There's a company called Prang that uses those soybeans to make renewable and biodegradable crayons. Corn can be used all sorts of different ways. We talked about plastic, right? And they can also be used for packing peanuts. So if you've ever gotten a package with all those little peanuts inside of it, those things typically don't break down into the ground. So, oh, looks like Katie's back with our corn plastic. And whoa, you can see it's already kind of changed. Be careful, because it is a little hot yeah. out of the microwave, right? So I'm just gonna dump it and see what we got. Very good. 
Ooh, Ooh, whoa. Okay, you can tell the parts that I mix together better so, than others. Yes, yeah, so some not mix super good, but we now have a corn plastic, which is renewable mm -hmm. and biodegradable. Mm -hmm. So what we wanna do now is challenge you guys to look around and see if you can find anything that's made of corn plastic or do a little search. What are things that you could have that could be made from corn plastic? So this has been our science moment of the day. I hope you guys give it a try and happy Earth Week.